Hey, this is Cassie. For today, we're making chicken pot pie. I'm gonna make like a few of them. I'm put some in the freezer and cook one for a day. Probably preheat the oven first. 350. This is 345. Okay, now I already cut up the potatoes. I put frozen vegetables in. Like, right. pizza carrots. Pizza carrots. Right and then, um, Took some chicken from frozen in the pressure cooker and stuck it in here. So I have potatoes, frozen vegetables, chicken. I put cream mushroom soup, I'm not sure if I even supposed to, but I just did. And the chicken broth that I had from the chicken cooking. And I'm going to put it on the stove top, heat it up until the potatoes cook, really. And then I'm gonna add the slurry, which is cornstarch and water. And we're gonna see how it turns out. You can almost do anything with chicken pot pie or turkey pot pie. Put anything in it. Like um, any kind of vegetables. You could use turkey or chicken or beef. And if it freezes at the freezer at the store, you can freeze it at home. So you might as well make extra and make a freezer meal out of it. Just saying. Oh, and I put mushrooms in here. I totally cut up some mushrooms because I had some. And stuck them in here. I, was, I should have recorded all the cutting. But you know, while that's heating up, I'm gonna put the pie, the homemade pie crust, <coughs> in here. Now I have four pie crusts and three pie pans. These all need a lid. I'm not cutting it off. Pie lid, so what we do is the first two in this pan. Oh no, I'll figure it out later. Really. I think it'll work. I'm telling you. Or I'll make two. Let's see. I won't make three. Really bad. But I only have four pie crusts. Gotcha. I should have made some pie crusts. It don't take that long. I'm out of butter, so I did not. I'm always out of something. Oh, the seasons up there were um, salt and pepper, garlic powder, and you just do it to taste, and I put also poultry seasoning. Poultry seasoning, the reason you add it is because um, it has so many other things. It has thyme in it, and um, I don't know what else. Um, sage, thyme, basil, cayenne pepper, black pepper. It has all these other things in it, so if you add it, it adds flavor to anything that's chicken flavored. You don't have to, but I thought that would be good. I can't tell these open. Those get crazy. Crazy loud. Three. Need. We'll see. Because you can kind of make them with some lattice tops or something. We'll see. What we don't have it. Let's do this. So the mixed vegetables I put were mixed vegetables and peas and carrots. I put a whole bag of peas and carrots and only a partial bag of um, mixed vegetables. I don't know why. Oh, and the chicken, I think it was like two pieces of chicken. Oh, that much chicken. You really gotta keep your pie crust coat, okay? What happens if you don't, if it doesn't grow right? Now I've had this laying out for a minute while I was doing all the other stuff. Okay. <coughs> okay, so we haven't even filmed in like forever and ever because Mr. Baby was in the hospital. He's so dramatic. So then you have to rest from that. That's the whole thing. You go sleep in the hospital, no matter who you are. Don't have time. 
They won't leave you alone. You know what they did to our baby while we were in the hospital for a few? They took and literally okay, they put his diaper on inside out. Water, pee, whatever. So, that was not the best experience, but we've had worse experiences at the hospital. Then, they also forgot, completely forgot, woman's feeds. Um, and I ended up feeding him at an hour later from that feed. And uh, they never did come in and feed him. So had I not fed him, he wouldn't have gotten fed. And they didn't know I fed him. You know, there's no way for them to know that. So that was crazy. I was like, all right. So I'm saying, when your kids are in the hospital, you gotta watch them. Because they are not. You think the hospital's on point? Mm -mm. They know nothing. Most of the time. Sometimes you get a really good, really good doctor or nurse or something, but that time it was not. Nah. We have the best nurse though. We have one nurse that was really, really good. Tiffany. Every Tiffany we meet there is awesome. I don't know why. See what I'm saying? This is getting all tore up. Ah. So here's the worst case scenario on this chicken pot pie. I will make three, right? Let's say I can't put a top on one. That's no big deal. I'm going to freeze it anyway. And I can put a top on when I get another one. Get another, Or I can make some crust tomorrow if I'm feeling froggy. Or I could just buy another crust and stick it on there when I'm ready to cook it. So it's not a big deal to not have your ducks in a row. This is really bad. This crust way hot fall apart it's okay though it's still gonna taste good oh my crust is better just saying <sighs> chicken pot pie is not that hard but it's like a whole thing you gotta do all the ingredients and then cook them and get to gravy and then you gotta put it in the oven it's like, oh. but I wanted to make it and I bought one of these pie crust sets for um, Thanksgiving for cherry pie. And I have the cherry pie filling. So I have to buy more pie crust or make some pie crust. I still see me making pie crust right now. I'm tired. It's not that hard. But when you're tired, you're tired. Okay, so I'm saving one of these for the next dinner. One of these pie crust. And to fully pie crust it up. The other one, this might roll out to be a whole pie crust. I don't think so. You know what I'm gonna do? Oh, it's too late. Let's see how this one rolls out. Almost have flour on the board would help on the uh, counter. I don't have any on the counter right now. Whatever. So that rolled out good actually, yay. Now, to get these potatoes cooked and uh, thicken the sauce up. They're gonna be so good. So the baby <laughs> and the bounty and the, um, I don't know, we put them in the door frame and the bounties and he fell asleep in that thing. So we had to put him in bed. He's so funny. He's hilarious. He's just like, yeah, I'll take a nap. I was like, okay. He was uncomfortable. Hmm. Cutie pie. I'm gonna put some more poultry seasoning in this. Really, I should uh, taste it. I'll taste it after I get it thickened. Anyway, we're gonna do let's get this sauce all thickened up and then we're gonna get these in the pie crust. Freeze two. See if I can roll out one crust for one of them, but it ain't gonna fit both. But it could be lattice, we'll see. Or, um, there's no way I'm making a pie crust. So, we're gonna freeze one or two. I'm gonna buy new two pie crusts and uh, put them on top. That's time to cook it. Or, you know what else you can do? It's really good. You can take and um, get um, 
pastry dough. What's that called? Filo? Anyway, the pastry dough that is crusty and flaky, you just stick that on top of, a, of the pot pie. You don't have to have a bottom crust. Or you put biscuits on top, just anything. Just anything on top that's like a dough is going to be good on it. And then, uh, anyway, I'll come back as soon as I get this uh, thickened up. I'll keep recording, but if uh, it gets really long, we'll fast forward through it a little bit. Alright. <coughs> mm, this smells good. I think I do not regret um, putting the cream mushroom soup. It's nice. Oh, I have this all the way on high. That's probably important. You don't have to, but this pot's big and it's like real light. Uh, so it's time to eat dinner already. Bring dinner late. So I have it cranked up for that reason. We're gonna, of course, if it starts getting really crazy outside now. And then we'll, um, uh, oh, y'all, see, I'm making, I'm painting these walls in here. They're all white still. So it's like that. It's shinier white. All the big house. It's the shinier white. It's like a crisp, we got enamel paint. I like that. Cool. I think it's pretty important to get your potatoes cooked before you stick it in your pot pie. Because they ain't gonna cook long enough in the oven. You can saute these. This could all be done in the Instant Pot. I just didn't think of that. And whatever. I like this pot. Or skillet, whatever it is. So much Christmas. Let's see the best behind the camera. See that? It's everywhere. There's stuff. And the tree and all these little gift bags are so cute. Oh, and check this out. Oh, I kicked them. You don't want to kick your gift bags. Okay. Anyway, see, it's a lovely fire. All the tools because we're still working on it back here and all the little presents we're not done wrapping yet there's an angel the baby's feet print from last year all the ornaments haven't been put on the tree yet because we didn't have any hooks but now we have hooks so we're going to decorate that we should record that anyway let me set this back up which i'm not very good at you know what i could do bring it over here closer to our cooking situation Yesterday I was saying how bad I am with the camera. I um, kind of put the camera down and somehow stopped recording. And I kept talking to the camera for the rest of the cooking time. And we didn't realize until today until my husband went to edit the video. So what I did from there is I took the, um, I made it, and I cooked it until the potatoes were al dente. They were almost done. I stuck uh, the, all the pie crust, I mean all the filling, fitting up the three pie crust. I put a whole pie filling over top of the one and crimped it. It is gone now, which I have a picture of, but it is completely eaten. Everybody ate it off. But the, um, but it's small anyway. But the, um, after I put the pie crust on one, I cut the other pie crust uh, leftovers up and last the top of the other two and they're in the freezer. We'll eat them later. And they end up turning out pretty good even though they are not a full pie crust. It's pretty good though. But it tastes longer, it's more work but it was worth it. And um, also the poultry season really added the flavor of pot pie. I feel like last time I didn't add that, but last time I made pot pie, which is a long time ago, and this really, really helped it taste like pot pie. I don't know why, but it had everything in it you want, like time. So 
Uh, thank you so much. So sorry that I stopped recording. Have a good day. Bye.